with connecting to our first speaker after we watch uh, a short video from our friends who are hiring uh, to their team in Russian office. Let's watch it. And we have Alex. Alex, how are you? Hi there. I'm, Hi. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alex, you are connected from uh, pretty far from us uh, here, right? You're based in Siberia. Yes, it's quite right. So it's snowing and bears all over the way, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, right. Got, uh, we got hard spring, you know, uh, at this time. Raining and freezing and uh, winding. Ah, you don't like it. Everybody does. So instead of bears, you have game developers. Uh, and that's exciting. So um, let's uh, get to your talk. Uh, you can start. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys and gals. <laughs> uh, my presentation uh, entitled The Evolution of the Character Since the Casual Time Manager. Uh, this QR code uh, is uh, code uh, to go to our website, uh, our company. And yes, uh, <laughs> this is my first um, presentation at the Game Dev Conference, and it is was it is also my first uh, one in English. So be prepared for some awkwardness. <laughs> I will try to avoid it, but uh, I I do uh, what I get to do. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, I would like to express my gratitude to you uh, in advance of not logging out, uh, logging off after <laughs> my awkward speech. So uh, perhaps um, you will feel better if I told you that I've been in IT uh, field uh, for more than 10 years. Um, and before that, I gave presentation at local events, such as uh, the Russian Internet Week, Russian Internet Forum. Uh, I'm appearing uh, before you today as someone who has been entrusted by our team and company uh, to talk to you about their work uh in addition i will not talk too much especially since i do not know anything to uh superfluous to today discussion <laughs> let me just say a few words about our company uh you may be familiar with elephant games which develop uh, detective and mystical novels quests for pc uh, that was our company before our rebranding and now we call those craft and we specialize in mobile games uh, if we count our glorious past, here it is. <laughs> so uh, we can say that our company more than 15 years old. Um, our main office in Novosibirsk, uh, which is in the Siberian part of Russia, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and we are big fans of telecommuting, telecommuting um, this made our employees transition to remote working rather simple uh, undertaking. Uh, right now, this is important thing. So anyway, uh, get down to the presentation itself. As you were able to read from the announcements, uh, we are going to talk about the following topic today, how marketing help defines the concept. Uh, when you don't know what the game will be about, and uh, the fine nuance of development when boys create a time manager for girls. Uh, to begin with, I should note that the time management genre uh, is a quite popular in the mobile segment. Uh, there are a number of games uh, in which players must prepare various dishes um, and serve them to customers. 
uh, for example, in some of these games, players also must improve uh, the restaurant uh, themselves. Uh, in different games, it is not necessary. Anyway, uh, we have already successfully developed uh, such a time manager game. This was a cooking craze game, uh, which we released in 2017. Oh, it was uh, even nominated for the best breakthrough hit awards at the Google Play Awards, uh, which was only open to games with more than 10 million downloads that um, uh, accurate over a short period of time. I think it's maybe two weeks, as I remember. Uh, and so we did. We did some new games. Uh, we wanted them to be original and not simply repeat things that we already have it and try it. So uh, this is how we came to initiate Project Dress Up, uh, which for a long period of time developed by team consisting only of men. Uh, of course, uh, now we <laughs> now we do have female graphics artists and a woman game designer too. Our, our original intention uh, for the project was not an experiment in boys knowing what girls wanted. Uh, nevertheless, it was quite a fun experience on the wall. Also, of course, uh, it is worth pointing uh, out that there are no fundamental uh, qualitative differences between men and women. And if you take two randomized groups of men and women, and then also randomly extract opposite sex and same sex couple from them uh, for comparison, uh, you will find out that uh, there are more intersections in the same sex pairs uh, by which, which we mean uh, traits held in common. But we are digressing. Uh, be uh, that as it may, our male development team still had to level up uh, certain skills. For example, they could start to understand how uh, the world of female fashion looks like. Uh, but that was not even the main challenge. Uh, first of all, we have to figure out how uh, characters should look so that our target audience will take a liking to them. We went through many drawings. Uh, you can see some specific uh, drawings right now. Um, and uh, we decide to make on some experiment. Anyway, um, the fact of the matter was that originally we aimed to create 100% casual and cartoonish game. You can see it by first image. But then we started getting feedback of the type, it's a nice game, but it is hard to tell the characters apart. Well, <laughs> people were expecting recognizable graphics, as we know of that comments, uh, and they weren't going to wait around uh, for them to appear in the game. But we have playable built only for one style of characters. This one. <laughs> this one, uh, cartoonish casual style. Then we made different banners uh, featuring, uh, featuring what we thought would be much more appealing girl character art. Uh, and we launched an advertising campaign. Since user would uh, often click on the certain banners, 10 uh, options with various degrees uh, of casualness, uh, we refined the visual design more. Mm. At each refinement stage, it became uh, increasingly clearer to us that we needed to use more detailed and realistic graphics. You can see it on these four banners, but actually there was a dozens. Um, we checked our work uh, scrupulously in order to make sure that we did not any mistake. Uh, if you were to identify the key aspects, uh, determining the visual feel of the game, then you could say there were four parts. One, uh, this is a faces, 
yes um two is body types of girls three uh color schemes and four the approach to the clothing itself and each of these parts um has his own solution uh the trial advertising campaign was uh conducted in two streams simultaneously each stream featured different bodies and faces uh, our target audience was women between age 24 45. Uh, the stream contained five different styles uh, we conducted a b testing on facebook uh, it lasted one week and cost about uh, one thousand fifteen hundred dollars it reached almost three thousand of people and accuracy was uh, 92 percent um, in our final choice for the game art uh, was a ratio of 90 percent realism and 10 uh, is casual cartoon you can see uh, what the poster looks like and uh, to make this determination we had to draw hundreds of variants of which we tested dozens like i said before the topic of clothing in the game in particular turned uh, out to be a totally different story in particular uh, the clothing was drawn in a more cartoonish way and the accessories were larger uh, the casual ratio in the clothing art was much greater than in the characters art. It's because we are talking about mobile game, uh, it's smartphone, uh, and we need to use some very specific details um, to, um, to close to every clothes that we design. Well, um, in fact, each outfit is different story since a lot depends of achieving a certain level of visual diversity and making these differences noticeable and the improved outfits. Uh, and now that we found the ideal formula, the game is for sale uh, in the store now. I think this method uh, we use is a very useful and cheap uh, way of finding out what we what the preference of your audience are and I think if we have a um, different team for that maybe um, we try to do this experiment later uh, anyway the second game uh, it's a turbo team the development team for this game took a slightly different approach. Uh, like Jon Snow, <laughs> uh, didn't really know anything at first. They didn't know anything at first, but still know something. However, the team was able to solve problems uh, internally as they came up. So initially the game was about hotels. Uh, first of all, we needed to create uh, the right location so that the user will avoid feeling claustrophobic, uh, agoraphobic or uh, acrophobic. As you can see on this screen, uh, we try. Uh, given the portrait uh, from, of the smartphone, this task seemed impossible for us, as you can see. Uh, so we spent uh, three to four months developing our first playable build. This one is funny. <laughs> uh, and we um, conducted testing inside our company first, and then we experiment with using landscape mode for the game. And that really complicated the gameplay. Before that, we dreamed that um, we dream it of creating a game that you could play with one finger. Uh, but, uh, you know, when we start playtesting, uh, we surprisingly see that it doesn't work. <laughs> when your smartphone is big, uh, you uh, should put them on some uh, 
flat uh, surface due to content of the game and gameplay features. But if you hold smartphone and uh, trying to play with one finger, you failed. Um, and uh, one uh, more thing that matters. Um, we think about that maybe we should uh, make a 3D game, uh, but in the end we decide uh, that we want isometric view. Uh, this was an important re realization. Uh, it is understandable why we made this decision given how our, char our characters evolved, as you can see on this screen. Mm -hmm. Why? Why an isometric view? Well, uh, let's return to restraints of uh, smartphones. The screen is really small. And if a uh, screen is big, it's just not big enough for 3D. And you uh, have some uh, specific genre. It's, it is not shooter, it's a uh, time manager. So uh, we stay at isometric. Well, uh, in addition, the final style that we decide on turn it out to be very visually pleasing. One blogger who reviews our games, his name is Dukat, maybe you know him, uh, has uh, defined this style succinctly and excellently. It is caramel style. I like that name. <laughs> As a result, uh, we created uh, distinct characters with their own um, personalities and set of reactions that uh, differ very clearly from each other. Moves, faces, um, activity states, standing, walking, running, uh, reactions, uh, annoyance, anger, happy, in addition, we, of course, worked on creating animations for those reactions. Uh, the first animation, which I will not show you here, uh, you can see them inside the game or uh, on our channel in YouTube, if you like. But uh, I have to say that it took 11, 11 uh, or 12 iteration in order to create the effect that we wanted. Um, here there was no marketing component to how we tested the game promise. Everything was done within the team. But let's get back to the game itself. Uh, you probably noticed that we started the project with the hotel concept, but how we uh, come, we didn't know uh, initially what the game will be about. At one point in time, we totally doubted the viability of the project. Will the concept uh, itself appeal to the user? How will, how will we different its hotels from each other? Uh, will they all seem too much the same? <sighs> that is when we realized that we might need a better idea. Uh, time for some experiments. Uh, we decided to test our several premises uh, in order to understand the direction in which we should move or uh, if we're on the right track at all. And then um, the team proposed that uh, we pick out several other locations as an experiment. We came upon the idea of making a game about a team of managers, uh, of managers who each time must perform different tasks, ranging from managing the hotel's operations to hosting an awards ceremony, as you can see on this screen. Uh, as a result, we came up with the hotel regretta, uh, a cruise liner, and a family flora flower shop. We play tested this concept. This one is uh, play test built for flora shop. 
As a result, we came up with the, this one. We play tested these concepts within the company and we brainstormed and decided that we basically did not want to make a trading game anymore. <laughs> But we wanted to diversify the locations and we decided to combine them into an entertainment network. This is how we came up with the concept for a fair. The next one. I'm sorry. Yeah. This one. As you can see, it's a uh, fair. Uh, with amusement park uh, hotel and um, cruise liner. Well, uh, we also thought up, uh, meaning we create sketches for it, here it is, a movie theater, planetarium and an award ceremony. Uh, however, the main problem that we encountered in going down this path was that we needed to invent a set of unique gameplay mechanics for each new location and event. In fact, it turned out that each location will have to be its own separate mini game or not mini. Uh, this gave us a challenge to overcome, but it also uh, may become a painstaking and expensive solution to develop. So, and uh, here comes the marketing. We used in-company uh, playtesting and split testing with Facebook ads. To do this, we create several variants for fake shots and uh, launch the campaign. Uh, we have, um, we delete Flora shop, uh, we and we have uh, only hotel and amusement park and <laughs> uh, this campaign lasted longer than the campaign for dress up and it was more expensive both uh, uh, I mean clicks and users are expensive than clicks and users for dress up also, the target audience was larger. Uh, we get men and women between age 25-44. As a result, high cat. <laughs> it was uh, clear by a wide margin that we should stay with hotel. It's so clear. Oh my God. <laughs> the experience gave the team the opportunity to grow through interactions and development to level up the uh, internal structure of game uh, sense and improve the certain technical elements. As you will agree, uh, these are very useful steps to apply to your development process uh, on an everyday basis. Currently, uh, our project, I need next, next slide. Kitty. Yes, different hotels, different places. Uh, currently, our project was expanded uh, to three hotels. Here it is. Actually, uh, I think now maybe four. We have another in New York uh, named Golden Apple. And we are ready for the world release, which is set for July 13. Uh, we kept the name as natural as possible. Uh, throughout the process, but since we decided that our game was a time manager, uh, terms around hotels, we decided to change in the name. Uh, which one we pick? This is uh, a secret. <laughs> but I think to uh, UD30, uh, we all will know. We spent fairly, um, fairly reasonable sums of money on marketing. I think we uh, spent about $2,000 on this campaign. Uh, in the past, when we made hidden object puzzle adventure games, uh, we uh, ordered playtesting with real people. And it is what a lot more expensive as you might, as you might be well aware. 
Therefore, uh, do not dismiss the idea of using marketing to test your game premise. However, uh, remember these words of wisdom uh, when marketing, uh, when you're making decision, uh, discuss uh, with your team and yourself <laughs> uh, the conditions and circumstances under which you will consider the experiment to be a success uh, from the very start of the process. Thank you. And uh, this is uh, QR codes uh, for our games to the um, Google Play. But we uh, have beta testing for Turbo Team on iOS and some playable build if you like. You can ask me about it. Well, thanks a lot, Alex. This was very good. And this was lovely and very funny to see the cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's actually the situation um, like we thought uh, that might happen sometimes, but it's the first time when uh, the cat is interrupt is interrupting uh, the live streaming. But it's, it it looks good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you just need to keep calm, right? Um, so we have uh, a couple of questions to yes, you from the audience. Uh, are you ready to answer them? Mm, of course. <laughs> Great. So the first one uh, is from Wina Lee. She is a very patient viewer uh, of our streams. And she asks, um, why did you choose uh, the 2D design for the characters and not any other style? Uh, actually, not uh, any other style. We uh, choose, Let's say we choose marketing for faces and body types, but we eventually change everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, just, um, we just change the feel of the game uh, with help uh, marketing and uh, to uh, advertising uh, series. Okay. Uh, and I just I just uh, uh, don't want to show you the first one looks of the game because it's shameful. <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we all st start from something. Um, yes. Like, you, sh you should never be ashamed of it. And the next one is from Vladimir and he asks, um, you, you've told a lot uh, how did uh, the graphics change um, throughout the time and how did uh, the gameplay change um, what, what are the features like maybe some of them you have implemented during the process of development and the evolution of the game well uh, if we're talking about dress up as mm -hmm. first game in the presentation uh, we can talk that the first one uh, idea of the game was a fashion show and uh, first playable build is about fashion show. You got a models, you got uh, some clothes and accessories to dress up your models, and uh, they got a uh, fashion walk on the on the show. <laughs> and uh, you know it's uh, it's. Uh, not bad idea, but uh, idea that in the game now uh, it's just um, shopping uh, for different types of clothes and different styles. It's better because we have more um, more fun experience and we have uh, less uh, a job to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I uh, see. And yeah. to, and about Turbo Team, um, I think when we pick up hotels, we don't change anything. We uh, have experiments when we got different location because um, they got different types of uh, of work. You know, not only check in your guests and uh, feed them, but 
if we're talking about amusement park, you may some amusements and you get to sell tickets that kind of way. Okay, yeah, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was very good and thanks for sharing the details and I think uh, if like um, as related to the last question if um, the core mechanics are good you probably do not have to change them so probably that's wise. Yes, uh, thank you. <laughs> thanks once again Alex. Uh, we will wait for you in the Q&A sec uh, section of the chats on um, Don'ts and Games uh, section of WN Hub. Please uh, go there, um, guys from the audience, the viewers, if you have any questions to Alex, please feel free to for forward them to this very section. And thanks, Alex. Thank you. Bye-bye.